This is chapter 2.3 exercises 17 through 20 and 25 through 28. This section has to do with graphing polynomial functions using zeros and so forth. And a problem, we're going to do these odd number problems 17, 19, and later 25 and 27. In exercise 17 to 20, graph the function of viewing window that shows all the extrema and x intercepts. Describe the end behavior using limits. So we're going to go to our graphing calculator. And we have a graph page here. We're going to put in quantity x minus 1. And outside here, I'm going to multiply by quantity x plus 2. I found out if you don't put the uh, multiplication sign between parentheses, sometimes you're going to get a invalid input error. So I just multiply every time that could possibly be an issue. And so here we are with all these three factors installed. Press enter and we get, really we see all the relevant uh, x-intercepts and maximum, minimum, so forth. And so we have them at x equals negative zeros at x equals negative 3, x equals negative 2, and at x equals 1. And so really the sketch of that is going to be x equals negative 3, x equals negative 2, and x equals 1. So this one, if we if we go ahead and expand everything out, we're going to get a leading term of x cubed. And that means we're going to be with a odd degreed positive function. We're going to start from quadrant 3 going up toward infinity, or actually from negative infinity. So the thing's going to look like this. Come up and have a relative maximum here. And we'll come down. I think our wider step's going to be negative 6. And then it'll come up like this. So that's what the graph will look like. As far as end behavior, well, we're coming as x. I'm just start writing out here. We write end behavior in this kind of notation. The limit as x approaches infinity of this function f of x is equal to when we go towards x goes toward infinity, y is going toward infinity also. So our answer for that is infinity. And going the other direction, the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is going to be negative infinity. As we go to the left, Toward x equals negative infinity, the y value is coming from negative infinity also. So this will be our end behavior and limit notation. Next on our problem, 19, we have f of x equals negative x cubed plus 4 squared plus 31 x minus 70. Well, this one we have a, a odd degree polynomial and negative. So just as a rough sketch, not knowing what the zeros are, the thing is going to look conceptually something like this. It's going to come like this, do something. I don't know exactly. But it's going to start out here, come down from quadrant 2, and do something and then end up down here in quadrant four to the lower right. So let's go ahead and graph that in our calculator. If we 
go to tab. I'm going to just back up here. I'm going to have negative x cubed. So here we have negative x cubed. And we have plus 4x squared. minus, or excuse me, plus, plus 31x, and then finally minus 70. And when we graph this, we see these vertical looking line segments. So we don't have our window set to see the maximums and minimums. We see the, the x-intercepts. So let's go ahead and just change our window to see everything. Window zoom. A lot of people are lazy. They'll just use zoom out. I suggest adjusting the windows here. Our Y minimum is going to be, I'll put negative 150. I'll confess to you that I've done this in advance. Y maximum, I'm going to put 100. So we tab down and we get, yes, all the relative values. Here we have x-intercepts of negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. So we have an x-intercept of negative 5 and at 2 and at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we have the pattern of a negative odd degreed polynomial function. So to graph that function It'll look like this. We have our values at negative 5, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have a 0 there. We have a 0 at positive 2 and also at 7. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So here's at negative 5, we have a 0 at 2 and a 0 at 7. And we're coming from on high. And we're hitting our x-intercept at x equals negative 5. We're coming down up here. And we come to our y-intercept of 70. So then we're coming up here. Then taking our journey down towards negative infinity. So let's go ahead and write our limits, limit notation and behavior. The limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is equal to negative infinity. And the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x, and that's really coming from quadrant 2 here to the upper left quadrant, will be coming from positive infinity. So the function comes from the left side, from you know, less than infinity, and goes down towards we get proceed to the right negative infinity. So this would be our answer and end behavior notation for problem 19. Next, we're going to go over this set, exercise 25 through 28, describe the end behavior of the polynomial functions using the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x and limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x. Well, for this one, we could graph these in, in a calculator, but we're just going to rather use our knowledge of polynomial functions and their end behavior to decide what's going on. And once we do that, we're going to be able to nail that end behavior quite well. So here we have uh, an even, and we say even function, what we mean is even degreed.
and also we have a, a this is positive <laughs> because our leading coefficient is positive so that means uh, even positive is going to come from the direction of of quadrant two from on high and end up toward infinity in quadrant one in fact, if we if we just took a parent function for this, say y equals x to the fourth, it would look kind of like a quadratic function, except the thing would go would be steeper, and then when it got down toward the x-axis, it would the thing would smash flatter than the than the y squared one. So it look conceptually something like this. But the end behavior is going to be the same. Now, between coming from pause infinity, ending up toward pause infinity, it's going to do, we don't know what exactly. And in the context we're asked this question, we don't really care about that. So we will say the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x. That's going to be where this function proceeds toward as we go to the right. And that's going to be infinity. And the limit as x approaches the negative infinity of f of x is going to be toward or coming from negative infinity. And so this would constitute our correct end behavior. So if you just, for end behavior, if you look at the parent function, in this case, x to the fourth power, and I didn't turn it upside down because this is a positive. So conceptually, it's going to do that. Start up here from quadrant two, end up toward infinity in quadrant one. Next on the problem is... 27. In this one, we don't have the thing written in standard form, and so I'm going to rewrite this function in standard form, which is going to be the highest power term, x cubed, well, negative x cubed, and plus 7x squared, and then plus 3x minus 4. And really, we're interested in this leading coefficient here or the leading term. In this case, we have a, a, a x cubed term, and that's going to be negative. So what that's going to do is it's going to be very similar in concept to the earlier problem we work. If we go back here to, to this one, we have a negative x cubed here, problem 19. So that's going to be a, it'll be an odd We'll call this an odd degreed odd degreed polynomial and it's going to be a negative because we have negative x squared so negative one or negative x cubed which is negative one x cubed so conceptually, the thing is going to be starting from up here in quadrant one and coming down and doing something. We don't know what exactly, but the thing's going to end up proceeding towards negative infinity in quadrant four. So we, the, we say the limit as x approaches infinity of f of x is going to be equal to negative infinity and the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x is going to be coming from pause infinity. So these are all the odd number of problems worked out. Good luck with the even number of problems to demonstrate your learning and understanding. And thanks for viewing.